One of the most frustrating parts about Walmart's smart delivery is actually getting on the platform. Most people I know waited months, if not over a year, to get onto Walmart Spark Delivery. So to help you lower this wait time and frustration as much as possible, in this video I'm going to give you three ways that you can use to try to speed up that Walmart Spark delivery application process. I'm also going to give you an overview of the Walmart Spark delivery driver application process as well as break down my experience going through each of those steps. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see what happened when I try to use each of these techniques myself. So at a high level, the Walmart Spark delivery driver application has four stages, submitted, screening, completed, and approval. I'm gonna break down what I went through, starting with submitted. So here's a timeline of events as I went through my Spark delivery driver application process. So on February 17th, 2021, that's when I got my first email from DDI after applying from Spark. It was in this email that I received my DDI login information, which allowed me to go into the DDI portal and do other things throughout this application process that I'll mention shortly. About three months later, on May 7th, 2021, I got an email from a DDI employee stating that I'm in their system now. Now please note, this is when I've made my first mistake in this process. After I got this email, I didn't realize there was more things I had to do. At the bottom of this email, there was a line that said, reply to this email stating yes, if I want to continue through this application process. At the time, I didn't respond because I didn't see that. About a year later, on May 25th, 2022, I finally responded to that email with a reply stating yes, I would like to continue on that Spark application process. That step effectively ends the, the first part of the process, the submitted process, because on June 4th, 2022, I got an email back from Spark saying that my application was complete and now they're working on my background check. I also know this is the beginning of the screening process or that screening stage of the application process because I also got this email from DDI about being part of now their partner onboarding application screening process. The word screening is right there in part of the email. Now here's the first tip about things that you can do that may speed up the application process. It was after not hearing your response after this email stating that the screening process had started and that I used that login information that I'd mentioned earlier that I received from DDI. Uh, I went to this part of the portal, I logged in and this little, little button here, I clicked that in the bottom right, this little question mark. Then it says application assistance status. I click that, you put in your email address. Then I clicked on this part that says uh, checking on my application and screening status. Boom, and I remember what I wrote here. Um, I didn't have any attachments and then I hit send. So I opened a ticket on June 17th, 2022 at 7.27 a.m. On June 17th, 2022 at 10.07 a.m. I got an email from the DDI employee that I had initially been working with, basically stating on that day that no further action was needed. My screening process basically had been completed and allowed two to seven business days for clearance. So now on June 29th, 2022, I responded to that email from the DDI employee, basically saying that now it's been over two to seven business days. Can I get an update on the status of my application? After that email, I did not hear back immediately. It was radio silence for almost two months. And then on August 24th, 2022, I finally got a text from Spark saying that I've been approved and to go download the Spark driver app and to log in initially with my email and my first time password. After that, on August 30th, I finally got a reply from that ticket that I had opened earlier, stating from a Spark support that it looks like my issue has been resolved. Now, the other part of this process is that when I initially signed up for Spark Delivery, the zone nearest me that I really wanted to spark in was full. So I signed up for a different zone, gambling that once I got onto the platform, I would be able to switch to the zone I wanted to be in. Long story short, that gamble paid off because when I did get signed up on the zone that I didn't want to spark in, I actually was able to switch to the zone that I wanted to drive in after I got enrolled onto the platform. So altogether from like active time, you know, not the time from when I really began to the time of the ending, but the time that I was actively trying to get onto the Spark platform, it took me about six to seven months. Throughout that process, you can see that A, I was trying to reach out to that person that contacted me initially, that Spark employee. That's one thing that I recommend trying to do. Although that employee didn't, you know, respond to me promptly, uh, they did respond to me at least twice uh, when I was going through that process. The other thing that I would 
would do is try to open a ticket uh, through that DDI login through that process that I showed you earlier in the video doing like that could potentially get you a response uh, as I showed you when I used that process uh, within like that same day I did get a response from the spark employee now the third thing that you can do to potentially speed up the spark application and this is something that I didn't get a chance to do this is actually a tip that I got from aphid cart this video right here he talks about it but basically there's this email address which I'll you know I'll put right there that email address is basically to spark support and you can try to reach out to them using that email address right there and potentially they may respond maybe they won't I can't say for sure but if you do try that email address and you get a response whether it be positive or negative uh, let me know respond in the comment section below if you got value from this video do me a favor and hit that like button if you want to see more content like this be sure to subscribe to the channel as well if you're not yet on Walmart spark but want to know five tips that I wish I knew before I was on Walmart spark then watch this video now.